All right, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, it's time to give a head start to the event, and I'd like to invite uh, Ms. Sapna Srivastava, who's the editor of Realty Plus, to please come on stage and deliver the welcome address. So let's get some enthusiasm from the audience, and let's have a round of applause to welcome on stage Ms. Sapna Srivastava. Good evening, everyone. I welcome you all on behalf of the entire Realty Plus team, our partners and sponsors. A special thanks and welcome to the guest of honor of the day, Sri C.M. Dhananjay, uh, Chairman KSIIDC, Karnataka State Industrial and Infrastructure Development Corporation, who has come all the way from Bangalore to join us here. Thank you, sir, for taking out the time. Most of us here are aware of what Realty Plus is, but by a show of hands earlier, I believe there are many who are uh, you know, joining us for the first time. So Realty Plus is a real estate vertical of exchange for media group, and uh, we have been in this sector for past 12 years. Over these years, we have uh, been revamping, upgrading, updating Realty Plus, its events, its products, its uh, um, uh, new uh, initiatives. In fact, we uh, added Kolkata as a city in the itinerary of events recently this year. Uh, we took Conclave and these excellence awards to the east of India. We will also be unveiling the second edition of Realty Plus Coffee Table book on top 100 developer this very evening called Moguls of the Real Estate. While we are unveiling this coffee table book, we are also announcing the next coffee table book by Realty Plus, which will be on the budget homes across India, the affordable housing projects across India. It will be called Homes for All. Another new initiative is a new set of awards that we are introducing. Interior and exterior awards for building materials and construction products industry. A very unique awards, what sets them apart is that these awards will focus on innovation. Innovation in product design and application, innovation in product branding and marketing, innovation in products, consumer-centric technologies, and marketeer of the year. The marketeer of these product companies who's a very important link between the product that comes out from the manufacturer's hub and the end user or the consumer. So very interesting initiatives that we are taking and we will be updating you with you with all the details, giving you the snippets of uh, what this conclave holds for us today. Very interesting. We will have uh, two panel discussions on uh, very topical um, issues. One is RERA. Some might say RERA is already done, and you know we have already talked enough of that. But uh, in my recent meeting with Gautam Chatterjee, uh, Chairman Maha RERA, he mentioned that uh, Maharashtra is leading in terms of number of registrations of developers. So that's, a, that's something that we need to talk about. What we need to talk about, what next? Where is real estate industry headed to now that developers or the stakeholders are adopting new rules and regulations? Similarly, Mumbai, the growth of Mumbai city, where is this headed to from chaotic development? Now what is the pattern that we should follow so what next for Mumbai? These very two topical issues that we will be discussing, the panelists will be deliberating upon. Also, we have interactive sessions by eminent professionals of real estate and design industry. So we look forward, we all are looking forward to a very interesting uh, day, very interesting time and sessions. Uh, I'm sure they will be very knowledge enhancing as well. Just to give you a brief of the evening following the conclave, um, that would be the glamour event of the day where we will have unveiling of the coffee table book as I mentioned. Also scroll of honor which will be felicitation of some of the distinguished leaders of real estate sector and of course the much awaited Realty Plus awards. So friends without taking any more time I thank you all for being here, being part of this event for all, all those who have come from other cities to join us here. Thank you all and wish you a great day ahead. I now call upon Mr. Anurag Batra, Chairman and Editor-in-Chief of Exchange for Media and Business World to please express his views. He's come from Delhi to join us here today. Thank you, Sapna. Thank you, Sapna. Good afternoon. It's my honor and privilege to be here uh, 
first of all i want to express my gratitude to shri cm dhananjay who is the chairman of the karnataka state industrial and infrastructure development corporation for being here uh, thank you uh, mr dhananjay your presence adds to our initiative and i'm sure your involvement with what what is happening in the real estate sector and around it uh, will make the sector more competitive and profitable i have said that uh, sapna we are not a 12 year old magazine we are exactly 3 years and one 13 years and one month we launched it on 27th august 2004 and some of you may have heard the story some of you are new my friend dr vijay krishna is here he, he has lots of businesses but one of his vertical is property and you see the hindustan properties.com logo is that i can't forget that day for many reasons reality plus was born but so was my daughter that day so i remember going to you know my wife those of you from delhi my wife was at the mayfair clinic uh, for those of it has a real estate connection for those of you who don't know what mayfair clinic is it's possibly she dr mrs pushpa chandra has given birth so to say to more babies than any other women in the country she is also sanjay chandra unitex mother so in the morning at about 7:45 am on 27th august 2004 my daughter was born and the launch was already pre scheduled of reality plus at i think 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock i don't remember i remember my daughter was born and you know of course i was happy so on and so forth both my daughter and wife were okay health wise and then i went to the launch so till today my wife reminds me that i left after my daughter was born to make sure reality plus was launched so there is so it is 13 years and one month because that's the age of my daughter she is also born on 27th august 2004 so i am not able to forget this date in a good way right two good things were born one human being and one an initiative second is i want to tell you some of you see me as a media person apart from media advertising marketing if there is one community then there where i know a little bit people is the real estate when i passed out of a business school i have shared this story i started in real estate i did not start in media before i turned an entrepreneur and i have told this story because mr dhananjay is there for the first time let me tell you i went to a, i did what most indians do i first went to an engineering school that's what most indians do before they figure out they, to do anything then i went to a business school called mdi i got in when the quality control was bad i'm from the first batch of that school galti ho jati hai right i went in and then i had limited ambition to be in it services uh, so i got a campus job mdi was good in those days also and till a friend of mine introduced me to a guy called david fowler who with michael thompson was setting up collier jardi so i met david i was young and impressionable then i'm both now also dr krishna but a little more young and impressionable and he bought me few beers and he convinced me to join collier jardi and those of you who met david in those years know that he was charismatic he is i haven't met him he's my facebook friend he's somewhere in la he has a fancy bike and i joined colliers i was part of the setup team of colliers so i started in real estate and i don't know mr pandit from cbri but anshuman is a good friend uh, rajat is my junior from mdi i hired him in a, if i don't know if rajat gupta still works in cbri right uh, i hired sanjay verma of who was the asia pacific ceo of kushman wakefield in his first job those are the developers who go to my friend ritesh vora at idfc i hired him in his first job he continues to be among my closest friend one of the most ethical and honest people in real estate and anuj will be speaking here i when i see anuj i call him mr puri because i have tremendous affection and respect for him uh, i left colliers and i joined anuj when chester and migraj was four people four meaning four then we hired ritesh we hired pankaj ranjan rami was in C cbre so i'm just telling you that i know a little bit about i don't want to drop names but i could go till the evening but the only person is i learned a lot from anuj i worked with anuj for about one and a half year and you know he's done well because he's a nice guy the saying that nice guys finish last is not true people like anuj you know i don't know whether you like him not like him some of you compete with him but i can tell you i worked with him from i'm a work il alcoholic i work like eight days a week sometimes 10 days a week that kind of person so i worked with anuj but there are two qualities about anuj which any real estate person one he under commits and over delivers second he is very very professional right you know he is very meticulous at communicating he is a nice guy 
So I love, I work with Anuj. I remember uh, we used to do, I did a fair amount of transactions. You met Ninath the other day. I did a transaction for him. So I started in real estate. And when I got married 17 years back, I had, you know, I was, I'm still young, but I was younger. So, you know, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, they were very happy that I had a real estate background. They, they actually wanted me to quit media and focus on real estate because that's where you create wealth. In fact, I was asked this question, do you want to be rich or do you want to be wealthy? So I said, like, what's the difference? Say, if you work in media, you'll be rich. If you work in real estate, you'll be wealthy. I said, okay. But, of course, I didn't listen to my mother-in-law and father-in-law. Like, I didn't listen to my dad when I joined Collier. But I worked for four years, and then I quit. I worked at Chesterton. I met a friend who became a big entrepreneur, uh, Deep Kalra. He sort of make, see, uh, he was setting up FECs, Family Entertainment Center. So I joined Deep to set them up. And then at the age of 28 and a half, I started this company called Exchange for Media. Uh, for those of you who don't know Exchange for Media, we are the business world of advertising, marketing, media, right? And then four years and eight days back, I acquired Business World on 19 September 2013. So I can tell you that, you know, that I know a little bit about real estate and I think we'll make a bigger foray in real estate than we've ever done. Coming back to Reality Plus being around for 13 years and one month, one, it's the only national magazine. Second, you know, the theme of today's conclave is reality revised. I think if we have to make Reality Plus even more relevant and really a catalyst in your growth and in the real estate buyer's life, a relevant tool, we have to be the catalyst to revive reality. And it will revive on its own. Anything that goes down comes up. It's a natural law, right? And it's true for real estate. Some people may not believe that. Yes, it may not seek the same peak. So really, uh, we are the only national magazine. Over the next two years, we want to do this in 40 cities. You know, not just Delhi, Bombay, Bangalore, Calcutta, Hyderabad, but we go to the next 35 cities in India. Because the consumption of real estate, the aspirational Indian is consuming real estate in a different way there. We have to be very local. Second, I want to give you an example. In fact, I tell my business world colleagues, learn from Reality Plus. I hope some of them are here. Uh, Learn from Reality Plus, see how good they do their work. So finally, they listen to me. And again, my whole focus is that media companies, editorial platforms have to be catalyst in action. They're not about pontificating. You know, we can be a thought leader. We can pontificate once in a while. So we are doing a Noida hackathon along with Reality Plus where we are getting 12 eminent leaders from all walks and we are getting them in a room and setting, telling them, to solve Noida's problem. I don't have to tell real estate developers. You know, there are large developers who take on money, projects are stuck, the buyers haven't got. So we, Reality Plus and Business World, will together do this and take this to then the government, to the PMO, to the Ministry of Urban Development, so that we are a catalyst in action. We're not just about pontification. Second, again, uh, there's a panel on reshaping the city and there's a panel on RERA. Again, RERA is very new. There are lots of challenges to navigate it. And because of RERA and overall compliances, I think the real estate developers, the ones who are long-term, have taken a step back rightly and will, you know, I know about DLF uh, for various reasons, they will start selling again now. So taking that step back is in some way reshaping your priorities, your approach. And in my view, the RERA will separate the boys from men, so to say. I would want all the developers to, to flourish, but I think there will be a consolidation uh, like it has happened in every sector. As far as affordable housing, I think like in the technology domain, in the media domain, we use breaking news in media and disruption in technology. These are two words. I think affordable housing is the most abused word. In fact, last year I brought a gentleman from Delhi who does what I call the parley G of housing. Parley G is the cheapest biscuit, right? It is the cheapest, so he calls himself the parley G of housing. He makes houses for my driver, for my, you know, cook, my support staff, who could do with a 10 to 12 lakh house. And he shared with me that he has almost zero defaults in their payments. Now, if that is the case, then possibly that's the segment with little more value addition is very lucrative. And with the bubble, so to say, settling down, I won't say bursting, I think the affordable housing or budget housing, at Sapna says, will be a domain which will really will become substantial. I mean, 
Mr. Kapil Vadhawan has built a company on the back of funding such housing offtake. Last but not least, at Business World, we have a Business World Smart Cities, Mr. Dhananjay, and we in Varanasi, in the Prime Minister's constituency, on 13th and 14th, we are doing the BW Smart Cities Conclave. We would want you to come and like the Reality Plus Conclave. It has every stakeholder that matters, right from PMO to the to the CM's office, so on and so forth. So we believe that the vision of smart cities, and smart cities is about buildings, but it's about governance, it's about delivery of services using technology, and it is about integrating the human element in cities in, is, is the theme in business world smart cities. And again in business world, because this is a business community, since the time we acquired business world, of course we've strengthened the print product, and in India, if somebody says print is dead, then we in the print business are doing a bad job marketing. Because you do an ad in, in a print newspaper, magazine, depending on whether it's a response base or brand building, we will deliver more quality than anyone. You know, of course, digital is a way of life. We all consume digital. But the credibility, the seriousness, and the filtering of print cannot be replaced by digital. Not yet. Five years from now, maybe in India, 10, I don't know. I'm not an astrologer or a futurist. Uh, so business world, we've revamped the print product. It's a better editorial product. It has three times more advertising than it used to have. So they're linked. Better editorial product. Second, business world site is averaging about 15 million traffic and about 8 to 9 million unique page views. In the next 18 to 24 months, we want business world dot in to be India's default business site. And we want to take on CNBC and ET. Because in my view, these are two daily products that are substantial. And again, in digital, you can do that. Events, bringing stakeholders face to face, bringing consumers with the, with the people who are providing them products and services, business world is a B2C, is an important uh, mission that business world has. So in the real estate domain, we will collaborate with Reality Plus, but we built a community in every domain. We have a BW Disrupt, which is a startup community. We have BW Smart Cities. We have BW Hotelier. We have BW People, which is a HR community, BW Education. We're launching BW Health. BW Defense, BW Entertainment and Cinemas. So we are building a community for everything. We are not in the business of magazines, websites, events. We are in the business of making a difference to our readers. Whether we do it through an event, in print, in digitally, it doesn't matter. And I hope we, we are able to make a difference in your life by helping you in your mission of providing housing and real estate to Developer. I also noticed, uh, to consumers, I also noticed that Sai Estates is sponsoring this event. I have never met Amit Vadwani. I get the good opportunity to meet Amit. But I can tell you that, like in the media business, I'll take an example. Dr. Subhash Chandra has built the Z. Or you take any business in Indians have built really world-class companies and world-class. I think I'm happy while the Collier Jardin, Cushman Wakefield, C.B. Richard Ellis, Knight Frank, do well, and they should, why not? I am happy that there is an Indian company that is thinking of scale, that is thinking of professionalism, and that is growing in a unique way. So I am very happy to see an Indian and an Indian company uh, developing something which competes on large corporations which have the infrastructure and money. So at the end of the day, if Indians have to get the right quality of housing at the right price, we have to get the office spaces, we have to get the warehouses. In real estate, we tend to talk of, you know, houses and office space, but the warehousing, logistics parks, they're very, very important part of the uh, ecosystem of business. I think Indian entrepreneurs will have to create new business models to be able to provide that product or service. I'm happy that Amit is doing that, and I look forward, I'm also happy Anuj is here in his new avatar as Anarok, I'm sure he will continue to make a difference. Uh, I'm particularly happy that he's there and I'll get to meet him. So I don't want to labor you on about real estate. I'm not an expert in real estate. I'm not an expert on, in anything. That's what my wife tells me. I'm only an expert in writing emails on those people who know me. Uh, I have a bot that writes. It's called Botra. Batra and Bot. So, you know, I, I programmed it. I created it. That, uh, and it's not a joke. I really write a lot of emails. I was telling some... The ESPN guys had just come to meet me and telling them that if there was a sport of emailing in the Olympics, I'd win India gold medal. But sadly, there is none. So with that, I really wish you well. 
it's the Diwali season, it's the West festive season. I hope uh, Navratra brings good luck, and it will, and I'm sure the real estate sector needs to survive and thrive for the consumers of real estate to thrive. Thank you, God bless you. I'll see you around.